Following a disappointing loss to the Steelers last week, the Ravens face the 5-2 and two Indianapolis Colts this week. And this should be a bounce-back game for the Ravens, but you know you can't take them lightly. The Colts have a really good defense, and our O-line is suffering right now. Yeah, not not even just the O line. You know, they're having they they're missing some players on defense. You know, Marlon Humphrey will be out, LJ Ford will be out. Mm-hmm. Um, a bunch of the defensive starters were not able to practice this week because they were on the COVID list. Um, and then, like you said, Ronnie Stanley's out for the year. Tyree Phillips is currently on IR. Uh, he's going to miss the next three games. So yeah, I mean, the the, the Colts are real good on defense. Baltimore is going to have to. And this is the only time you'll hear me say this. (laughs) They're going to have to lean heavily on the run game and try to just try to drain the clock and get out of there with a win. The good news is the Colts don't have a whole lot going on on offense. Yeah. And also, they have a lot of injuries as well. Mm. uh, T.Y. Houghton is still questionable at this point. I don't think they announced whether he's going to play or not. Um, Yeah. And the offense as a whole, I think the number one wide receiver right now is, is Pascal. Am I wrong? About that? Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's not looking great. It doesn't look no. great over there. No. Um, you know, they got Phillip Rivers. They got Jonathan Taylor. Uh, I believe Mo Ali Cox. Mm-hmm. Um, that's you know, it. They're, 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 they're not a terrible, terrible group, but just not anything that's going to, you know, scare the Ravens defense. Or it should. No. And yes, okay, LJ Ford might be out, but. This is why we drafted Malik Harrison, right? Right. Time Absolutely. to step up. You know, Marlon Humphrey's out, but he's still going to be starting Marcus Peters and Jimmy Smith. So the defense should be fine. Uh, I think the only issue on defense is the fact that a lot of them didn't get to practice. That that yeah. could be that could be a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Right? But they should be able to handle the Colts' offense uh, relatively well. Uh, the offense for Baltimore is really where the concern comes in. Uh, like I said, there's the O line. They're in trouble. They're yeah. in trouble on the O line. Uh, Orlando Brown, I think, is going to fill in very well for Ronnie Stanley. DJ Fluker ain't it. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Fluker, it, yeah, and and Skura, they're going to struggle, man. You got to go up against DeForest Buckner, you know, and you got and, and you got Justin Houston, you know, coming off the edge. Is who he, said uh, they respect but do not fear Lamar Jackson? Who said it? The Colts said that. Uh, Justin Houston. Oh, I mean, whatever. He, I mean, you shouldn't fear anybody. I don't, I don't care. All right. But it, fear it, Philip it, Rivers. It, look, I bet he does. It, listen, he doesn't have to he doesn't have to fear or respect Lamar Jackson because he's going up against that O line and nobody fears our O line. Right. So and listen, you, I, I I'm always confused when people say that, oh well, you know, I don't I don't I'm not I'm not afraid of you. Well, that doesn't mean anything. He's he, that's not gonna make him slower. No, it's not, it's not no. going to you know enable you to tackle him. It doesn't matter right. if you're afraid or not. Right, right. I don't know, man. Like, I, I can't even say my confidence is shaken in Greg Roman because I didn't have a whole lot of confidence in him to begin with. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, but like you said, just call a establish a good run game. If you get the run game going, you should be able to handle them because I just can't see the Colts putting up a lot of points on this defense. They better not. I mean, yeah. look, we, if you watch our, our streams from last week, some of our videos, uh, we've maintained our position that the defense has to do more. All right. That game last week, a lot of people put it on Lamar, and Lamar definitely has to play better. He can't turn the ball over four times in any game. But the defense can't give up three touchdowns either. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at the, the Colts offense, and I, I think if Baltimore gets to 20, that better be enough to win. I agree. I agree. And I think it will. I, I don't think that they're going to, I don't think they're going to light up the Ravens defense or anything. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so either. Yeah. I'm predicting I'm, the Ravens to win. I am fully expecting at least one Mark Peters pick at least one. Yeah. I, st- I have this being a two score game for the Ravens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm I gonna say, that. Yeah. I, I think it's going to be like 24, 14. Yeah, uh, I was thinking more like twenty four ten, but yeah, somewhere right in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they're going to put up a ton of points. Uh, I think they're going to be running most of the day, but they they should be well in control in this game. Yeah, yeah. Twenty four ten, I can see that. Twenty four fourteen, I say that because they could probably get like a late touchdown. You know, once once we establish a huge lead, we kind of let teams get back in it a little bit. You yeah. know, so I, I'm just, I'm expecting like a late touchdown, make it somewhat interesting at the end. But not quite, 
you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, you know, we need that. We need Lamar just to get in rhythm this game. Um, just look, they can't protect them, right? They don't have the O-line to protect them. So nothing, n- nothing too outlandish. Try to establish some screen passes, some short passes, you know, play action. Keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, and again, J.K. Dobbins should be the lead back in Baltimore. Yeah. And I mean, they, they did it last week. Uh, and I would like to see them continue giving Devin Duvernay more snaps than Miles Boykin. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's, you know, overly talented or anything. Uh, I think he's more, I don't want to, I want to say a gadget player, but uh, say he's a, he's more limited as a receiver, but he is the one guy uh, who's really shown that he, he wants to make a play every time he gets the ball. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And that's something and- Baltimore needs. And Dobbins will get more carries this week as well because I think Mark Ingram is going to be out again this week. Right. So uh, Dobbins had a really good game last week, and like you said, just keep feeding him the ball and see what you, what you know he can do with it. And hopefully, coming out of this week, he can establish himself as the number one running back. Mm-hmm. Right. And you know when Ingram comes back, he should be the number two because I still like Ingram over Gus Edwards. Yeah, he's a more talented player than Gus Edwards. Gus has been, you know, he's been good and, and mm-hmm. obviously improved from a couple of years ago when he was the, the starting running back, but he's still not as good of a player as Ingram or Dobbins. Uh, I agree. In, yeah, Ingram's issues is his, is his health at this point. Yeah, he's yeah he's getting dinged up. So, you know, an extra week of rest, hopefully he comes back and he's close to 100% and him being that you know, that number two to that one-two punch should be really good. And you're still yeah. using, obviously, Gus Edwards, just not getting as many carries. Right. Yeah. So the keys to the game for us, Dobbins needs to needs to carry the load in the run game. Run the ball, and Dobbins needs to be leading that that run game. Get Devin DuVernay more involved, you know. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and lean on that, that vaunted defense. Yes. And, yep, the defense. And four – Run the ball. Yeah. <laughs> no, def- defense definitely has to has to step up this game. I I don't think they played bad last week, but I wouldn't say they played good either. Right. right. When you give up that many touchdowns, I don't care what situation you're in, you gotta play better than that. There's more expected from you um with the talent that you have on that defense. Even with the injuries right now, you still have a lot of excellent players out there. So yeah, yeah even without Marlon Humphrey, you probably have the best starting uh corner duo in the league with smith yeah. and peters yeah and i know i know smith is dealing with some back issues right now that's what they're saying but if he's out there playing i don't want to hear any excuses you gotta go yeah. out there and play you know so yeah uh both of us have the ravens winning pretty comfortably and we'll see how it goes